gadgets that tap into your brain, glasses that help blind people see, and an app that tells you how your pet feels, all powered by AI. Artificial intelligence is still in the show at this year's CES in Las Vegas. It looks like the tech industry has put artificial intelligence in everything. Check this out. This is a pretty cool thing that we found here at CES. This robot would scan my face and then it would suggest a cocktail based on my mood using a machine learning algorithm. Okay, neutral. Do you feel neutral? I'm excited. Let's see what I'm gonna get. Yeah, so essentially we scan your face, we identify seven different moods, sad, angry, happy, neutral, sad, all of that, sends it to the robot. The robots collaborate together with a human to create a cocktail specifically for your mood and then deliver it straight to you. Well, this might look a bit quirky, but Emotion AI, the technology behind it, will soon be more commonplace. One benefit of Emotion AI is that it could make car driving safer by analyzing a driver's face and ask him or her to take a break when they get tired or to slow down when they appear agitated. AI's potential to help us improve our lives seems gigantic here at TES. Have a look at what this developer has to offer. This is a food scanner, right? Yeah, it's an AI food scanner that um, analyzes the um, dishes you take and the amount that you're eating. Sounds great. Perfect for people who really have to control what they what they have to eat yeah. daily. So this is my turn now. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have the steak. And is that what? It, oh, that's a that's a dessert, right? Yeah, it's a dessert. It's a dessert. Oh, it's a like dessert. a piece of cake. Yeah. I mean, why not? Basically, you put it in the frame uh -huh. and the scanner scans your tray. The benefits of this system? Users could analyze their nutrition intake and meet dieting needs. Restaurants could analyze what kind of food dinners like and what is thrown away. AI is definitely dominating CES 2024 after ChatGPT successfully put the first intelligent chatbot in consumers' hands, funding for generative AI products exploded. And while most early applications were cloud-based, many of the new devices come equipped with AI. There's a lot of hype around Microsoft's new Windows keyboard, for example. It is the first time they've changed it in nearly three decades all to add an AI button that pulls up the tech giant's co-pilot service. It seems like AI is becoming more ubiquitous. What would all that mean for consumers? Well, it would make communication between us humans and computers much smoother. But not only in terms of the things that we have seen lately, uh, basically the text uh, processors and the large language models like ChatGPT or DALI for images, but also in terms of the Internet of Things and the things that we use daily, the home appliances. This smart fridge, for example, it keeps track of what you put in and even informs you about expiration dates. On top of all that, it suggests recipes you can cook with what's inside. And as a state-of-the-art AI device, it also communicates with other objects in a smart home, like a stove. So we save energy and we also tackle food waste. These are the new um, applications that we're gonna see throughout 2024 in terms of artificial intelligence. This is the integration between machines like this and the technology of um, artificial intelligence. The big idea behind what you have just seen is this, analyzing user data with AI to offer better services. All of this could make life more convenient and sustainable, yes, but artificial intelligence technology needs a lot of very personal data. So we're going to have to improve data security because AI-assisted tech is coming into every aspect of our lives. Okay, that was it from Las Vegas, from the Convention Center here at the Consumer Electronics Show 2024. Which other novelties would you like us to report on? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.